Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn, how to create a swirling gradient logo like this, in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Before we start, first click on the view option, and make sure that the smart guides and snap to point are on. Click to turn it on, if it's unchecked. Also, make sure that snap to pixel is off. If it's checked, then click to turn it off. Now, select the ellipse tool from the toolbar. With shift pressed on the keyboard, hold and drag the mouse to create a circle of any size. Now, make the fill of the circle empty. Also, make the stroke of the circle empty. Press Ctrl or command Y on the keyboard. This turns the design into outline mode. Make a copy of this circle by pressing Ctrl, or command C. Then, go to the edit option. And click on paste in place. This created a copy of that circle right above it. With Alt and Shift pressed on the keyboard, decrease the size of the circle. Pressing Alt button makes sure that the position of the center of the circle, remains fixed during resizing. We will make a copy of this inner circle by pressing Ctrl, or Command C. Then go to the Edit option, and click on Paste in place. Now with Shift pressed, drag the circle from one corner, till it snaps with the side of the other circle. Now select everything, and click on Align Vertical Center. This aligns the center of all the circle vertically. Now press Alt, and drag to make a copy of this circle, and drag it till it snaps with this side of the circle. Again select everything, and click on Align Vertical Center, to make sure that the centers are aligned. Now, we will make a copy of these two circles. Select the circles, press Ctrl or Command C to make a copy. Then go to Edit option, and click on Paste in place. With Shift pressed, rotate the selection to 90 degree. We will obtain an image like this. Now we will create swirls. Select everything. Then select the Shape Builder tool. Click and drag the mouse, to create a swirl shape like this. We now have one swirl. In the same way, click and drag to make another swirl. To create more swirls, select everything, and make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl, or Command C. Go to Edit option, and click on Paste in place. Now with Shift pressed, rotate the selection by 90 degrees. We now have more swirls. To make more swirls, again, select everything and make a copy. Then go to edit and click on paste in place. Now with shift pressed, rotate the shape by 45 degrees. Now press Ctrl or command Y to exit outline mode. Don't worry, your pattern is still there. Now, we will add color to our shape. To add color, select everything, and right click on the Shape Builder tool, and select Live Paint Bucket tool. If you hover the cursor around the shape, whole shape will get highlighted, and text will appear, saying click to make a live paint group. Click on the shape. Now if you hover the cursor around the shape, each swirl will get highlighted separately. Now select any color from the swatches panel, that you want to add in the shape. Click on one swirl, to add color. and. To add color to other swirls, you can simply hold and drag the mouse, across all the swirls. Now select everything, and go to object, and click on expand. Make sure object, fill, and stroke is checked, then hit OK. Now with everything selected, go to object option, and click on ungroup. Again, click on object option and click on ungroup. Do this, until no more ungroup option is available. 
Now, we will add gradient to our shape. First, click on one swirl. Then click on the gradient option. Now double click on the left swatch to change the color, in the gradient menu, select the color that you want. Now double click on the right swatch to select the second color. We now have gradient color in one swirl. To add gradient to the other swirls, select other swirls by pressing shift on the keyboard. Now select the eyedropper tool. Click on the swirl with gradient color. This adds the gradient to all the swirls. We have finally created our swirling gradient logo. You can change the direction of the whole logo by selecting everything, and changing the angle. You can also change color, and direction of each swirls separately. I hope, you liked the video. Do leave your views, and queries in the comment section. To see more video like this in future, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, in my next video.